This was once the home of Walter Gropius, the founder of one of the most influential architectural movements of the 20th century. There are many Bauhaus-era buildings in Dessau, the restaurant Kornhaus, the Torten Estate, and the Bauhaus building itself. The design is linear, clear, and transparent. This heritage still fascinates people interested in architecture and draws them to Dessau. Like these students, they've traveled from all over the world to attend the International Bauhaus Summer Academy for 10 days. Places are limited and demand is high. For me, the summer school was an extension. This activity is very short, but it's very intense. The work is, is, is very nice, and it's very good to, to interact with people of different countries and cultures. But 21st century Dessau is not simply a Bauhaus paradise. The city has to contend with serious social problems, population decline, economic decline, aging, abandonment. Since 1990, Dessau has lost a quarter of its population. Today, about 75,000 people live here. Well, it was really different to come to a place where you have like a lot of space and there's no people. There was like a strange feeling because I, it's usually like too crowded and that's the problem. And here it's like empty. So it's really shocking when you just come here. So. It was interesting to come and try to find solutions because it's actually really attractive that you have all these buildings and they're empty and there are no ease. And In their workshops, the students work with established architects to formulate strategies to revitalize Dessau. Anna is from Portugal and Camille from Poland. Together, they make their way downtown. Their project involves an empty apartment block in the city. Their idea is urban camping, a concept that would fill the vacant space with nature. We thought about Dessau, the problem of Dessau, the shrinking city problem, shrinking city yeah. problem the empty flats, and we thought about which are the good sides of Dessau, the nature. So camping somehow seems like making sense. So you are in a flat, but somehow you are close to nature. But Rodrigo and Andrea have an even more radical idea. In their vision, the facade of the apartment block would become an attraction for extreme sports. Inside, only the supporting structure of the building would remain intact. It would be Europe's biggest climbing park and include a hotel. The idea may sound extreme, but it's not unrealistic. That was the theme of the workshop. A century ago, this city stood for innovation, for the new and the radical, and today it stands for the decline of the former East. The challenge was how can you make something positive out of the emptiness. The students also come up with innovative ideas for public spaces. In Dessau, they're often empty and desolate. The students dream up simple ways to transform them into more intimate settings, urban living rooms. The idea forces them to reconsider the conventional division between public and private spaces. The city streets could also become a welcoming home. After 10 days, the summer academy draws to a close and the students present their finished concepts. Hi, this is Susie from Denmark. Uh, for me, home is light in the evening. My home in the city is for Bertram and Steffi, and they're having a romantic dinner at the Bauhaus table in the big public space. Nobody expects the summer school to solve Dessau's problems overnight. The legacy of communism in eastern Germany has left deep-rooted challenges for the region. But 70 students from around the world have developed a range of ideas that contribute to the reputation of the Bauhaus school. This has a positive knock-on effect for the city itself. 
I find Bauhaus today really interesting and they're the spirit of these big guys that founded Bauhaus is still moving on and the people working here and the whole atmosphere of the school, it's very creative and in development. The Bauhaus Summer Academy is a temporary lab which brings new energy and impulses to its participants and to Dessau too.